my hands been fried, dyed, and blow dried. It's been through years of wear and tear. Ooh, girl, what happened to your hair? I know you're sitting here wondering why is my hair looking like old girl problem child who came to pick up Junior's dad and he electrocuted her. The answer to that is that it is at its maximum level of ratchetness right now and it is time for a wash. The only thing that can get this hair back together right now, well not the only thing, but the most important thing is water. <laughs> um, the reason why I'm showing you my hair just as ratchet as it can be is just to let you know that this it gets real in the field. You know what I'm saying? You know, I wash my hair consistent, consistently. I try to always maintain my hair some type of way at night. You know, do all the right things that you're supposed to do when you have natural hair. Use good products. Um, keep it hydrated. Just It takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of patience. It takes some money. But um, I'm not one of those people that regret getting a relaxer. When I was in, I got a relaxer, I think, towards the end of elementary school up through when I went to college and I don't regret that because all the things that I just mentioned that I do now that I have the time that I can allot the time to spend on my hair I work in a salon I can do my hair whenever I want to but back then I was not here for it I wasn't here for it. all that work you know what I'm saying I couldn't see myself doing the things that I do now to maintain my hair because when I was in high school what I was here for is getting relaxed every six weeks Every two weeks getting it flat ironed and every night spending one to two minutes wrapping it and combing it down on the way to school in the morning. That's what I was here for. You know, I had trips, I had sports, I had church. I had too much going on to be worried about maintaining a natural head of hair because my hair is not, as you can see, which is what I want to show. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, well, you got good hair, it's easy. No, it goes down. <laughs> it goes down. It takes some work to, you know, tame my hair down. I'm 100% black. And not to say that there aren't 100% black girls who have fine, carefree um, hair and curls. Or that there aren't biracial, Caucasian, Hispanic women who have wild frizzy unruly hair just like me but i'm just talking about this black girl and her hair i mean you just i want to show so somebody can relate and be like okay my hair is like that you know what i'm saying what do you be doing you know what i'm saying you don't want to just think like when you see natural hair like oh my hair wouldn't do that or my hair isn't like that and um yeah show the washing girl routine and how you can transform yo tina turner yo macy gray Yo, Diana Ross into Jordan Sparks. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. Okay, um, I'm out the shower and I have it in the braids that I do in the shower. I put the conditioner in a section and then braided it. And I went through like that. Braids and conditioner, put it in a section and then braided it. And um, after I got done washing up and getting all clean and stuff, then I just rinsed it out with the, uh, with the braids in. So now I'm about to apply my leave-in and gel to each section. Alright, I'm out of the shower. Do I look like a different person or what? <laughs> no, I'm just playing. But um yeah, I was able to tame her back on down. Um my hair is pretty much still wet, so that's why it's so flat. I'm about to sit under the dryer and try to get it pretty much all the way dry before I go to sleep because if I go to sleep with my hair wet, it's just gonna be back a mess in the morning. So I'm gonna try to get it all the way dry and then tomorrow I plan on doing a foundation review. So you can see that will be a little incentive for you to see how it looks when it's dry. Let me go through the products I use. L'Oreal Eversleek Sulfate Free Smooth. This is some intense smoothing shampoo. I want to try this line. They have a whole sulfate free line. Ever Sleek, Ever Care, Ever Strong, Ever You Won't. Um, this one is mainly concentrating on frizz. That's 48 hour frizz control. Um, has argon, sunflower, olive oils, and um, cleanses while weightlessly smoothing frizzy, unruly hair. Psh, that's me. Ding, 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 ding. 
So that worked really good. Cleaned really good. Don't really have anything bad to say about it. Smelled good. Worked up a good lather. Defined my curls. Um, the only thing is it's not very detangling, but it still worked good. Viva Care One Condition. This is the conditioner that I use. I did a review on this. I like it, obviously, because I'm still using it. And if you want to see how I really felt about it, check out that review. And the Ever Cream Sulfate Free Moisture System Nourishing Leave In Spray. That is what I used on my braids as I took them down. And after I sprayed that in there, then I used my Handy Dandy Eco Styling Gel. Um, and I did this braid by braid. So. That was my section technique. After it was all done, scrunched the top, finger coiled the back because my hair is like kinkier. I don't know if you can see. My hair is kinkier in the back, so I finger coiled those for some definition. And then I got my handy dandy olive oil. Massage a little bit, scrunch, boom, 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 so I can try to seal that moisture and that product in. So, yeah. Questions, comments, any of that? Let me know, thumbs up this video, it's, it's, it's Desi, just in case you never know, just in case you didn't know, yeah, 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 ye